Today's episode is brought to you by Skillshare. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bad Flashes. In today's episode, Jason and I go camping. We shoot some film and I fuck up. Yeah, there's uh, there's that. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Why? Oh, right. We also run into a special guest. So stay tuned. Okay, you can continue now. It has actually been several moons since I've been camping. Apparently Jason can find the time to camp with everyone else except for me. Am I bitter? Yeah, yeah I am. But I put that aside and I told myself I was gonna have a great time. Well, besides the 100 plus degree weather constantly breathing down our necks, reminding us that air conditioning was invented and exists. Chairs. There's service here. We can watch Netflix. <laughs> For this trip to Joshua Tree, I wanted to continue a long running series of shooting Kodak Vision film and developing it in ENC2 chemicals. I also decided to bring my Intrepid 4x5 camera to overcompensate for my lack of self-worth. And I also decided to bring a bunch of different films. Cause like I always say, pack a second option just in case you get your pants in front of the whole field trip, making you then change your pants just so that you won't be made fun of and called poopy butt from the ages of eight to 12. And the second option really came in handy. Well, the film, not the pants. It's hot as balls outside. That's the actual temperature that's reading on my iPhone screen. Oh, right. Sorry, that's an artistic representation of what the photo would look like. I actually lost most of these shots in developing. So you get drawings instead. You know what, on second thought, let's just fast forward to get to some real photography. Perform, perform, harder. Oh, hey there, tent. It's been a while. Don't mind if I do. So after setting up our tents and lighting a bomb ass fire, we roasted some wee wees and decided to drink. It wasn't until five Smirnoff Ices later that I actually got enough courage to set up my large format camera for some long exposure photography. Uh, oh, <laughs> forgot I did bring my light meter. What am I gonna look at? I like, know, that's the problem. Like, it's For my first exposure, I wanted to capture some star trails. So I set up my camera facing the sky, popped in some Ilford HP4 into the camera, and set my timer for three hours. And to be honest, I guessed the hell out of the timing for this, so there was no science involved. Then we proceeded to do the inevitable, get wasted. Now, before you get really excited to see this image, I have to warn you, the image didn't turn out. And I'm not quite sure why. Part of me thinks the shutter cable actually malfunctioned, but I just don't know. So far, this trip has not been kind. It hasn't produced a single shot, but sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles, being a soggy mess at the bottom of a glass of milk. So after Jason and I's rant about how Solo is the best Star Wars film since The Phantom Menace, I ended my exposure and naturally wanted to try again. And as it happens, there was a giant rave going on in the distance that had started at six and was still going at 11.30 with no sign of stopping. 
And during this entire time, they decided to do donuts in their car, Mad Max style, kicking up dust all over the place around the big ass bonfire. So naturally I turned my camera towards them, set my timer for an hour and 30 and went back to drinking. Finally, an image. This had no right to turn out, but it did, and I'm glad. So let's get back to drinking until we pass out. But before we continue, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community that can offer you a ton of different classes. Classes that will help you open up your mind to new creative endeavors. They have tons to choose from. You'll be hard pressed to find a class that you won't want to take. I just started a class by Neil Schwab about the basics of book design. Since I'm in the middle of creating my own book, this class is definitely going to come in handy. And the great thing is that some of these classes are less than an hour and there are no ads. So your creative juices can continue to flow while you binge your favorite classes. I mean, you can watch Netflix, but like, why don't you learn something? For the first thousand people who use the link in the description below will receive a one month trial to Skillshare's premium membership. So what are you waiting for? Let's go learn some stuff together. Okay, back at it. Dunkaroos in the morning. Those fuckers over there. They had their music playing till 6.40 this oh, morning. Oh, now they stop? Let's just say that waking up in 80 degree weather at 7 a.m. is not my favorite thing. It instantly zaps any energy right out of you. So we packed up fast and decided to head into town for some food. After the magic of pancakes healed our hangover souls, we headed to Rattlesnake Cove. Here, I decided to put some tri into my M6. This place was empty, probably because the desert was hotter than Flaming Hot Cheetos, but I got some pretty good images nonetheless. It was so hot that my phone actually overheated. So, <laughs> footage is a little low. I even decided to bust out some Cat Labs 80 for my 4x5. I really wanted to see what some good old swing could do for an image. I also decided to take a picture with my M6 from comparable framing, just so I could see the difference between that and my 4x5. Overall, I think the large format image looks more visually interesting. Because of the nature of these lenses and the option to swing the focus, it feels a bit more dynamic compared to the all-in-focus shot taken on my M6. The M6 shot isn't bad, but I do think the 4x5 shot shows the true power of large format lenses. But after hanging out underneath the rocks to escape the sun's grasp, we made our way to Pioneer Town. This is where we ran into our special guest, the one and only Jamie Maldonado. It was awesome to hang out and chat with him. He has a wealth of knowledge for film photography. If you don't know him already, check him out. Here, we spent some time walking around Pioneer Town, taking pictures and talking about cameras. I didn't 
not hurt someone else's and it's gonna go past my tongue. It's gonna be much better. So after some barbecue and some beers and some great conversation, we hit the road back to LA. Now I know this trip had a rocky start, but it just goes to show that film photography is not perfect. Sometimes your roles don't develop. Sometimes your shots don't turn out. Sometimes you get heat stroke, but there is one constant. It should be fun. And if it's not, I think you're doing something wrong. Well, that will do it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Go shoot some film.